Sean Pepe and Light. Yo, Thank you. You're welcome. Got the roar, man. Well, everything already rolled up. We ain't got to break it. Nah. Just try not to burn myself with the blow torch you have with the lighter. Like, what the hell? Hello, world, and welcome to another episode of The Cypher. I am your host, Colin Mill. I'm with my co-host as usual. Guys, do you think? Hi, my name is uh, KF The Deaf. Know how it is. Hey, it's your girl, Harley. So, guys, we're here. You know what we do. We're sparking up. We're chilling. You know, I'm going through my iPad right now because I got so many books on my iPad. You know, I love my iPad because, you know, before, if I wanted to have a, bunch, a whole bunch of books on me, I had to carry them on my book bag. But with my iPad, I could have like 200 books on me in one little device. So I'm going through my books, and I realize I have a book in here that's literally called How to Tell Your Girl is a Ho. Mm. That's an actual, I don't know, I don't remember how I got this book. I'd be downloading, I'd just be straight downloading a lot of shit. I'm not going to. Yeah, it's, just, it's funny what you download, and it's funny what you don't see that's coming in. <laughs> yeah, I download a lot of books. Like, I got over 4,000 books on my hard drive. Ooh, that's nice. A lot of reading. And I'm far from done with these books. Far from done. But the guy who wrote this book, his name is Mac Major. And um, he's somewhere across between a, a guy who writes a lot of religious books and a lot of dating books. But you can tell that he's been from the hood because, you know, he wrote a book called How to Tell If Your Girl is Possibly a Hope. Mm. So here are the 51... Well, we're not going to go through all 51 ways, but we'll discuss the stuff that... We're going to say yay or nay if we agree with this book. Because a lot of the stuff I don't agree with. I know a lot of girls in the 21st century. But, you know... I have a funny feeling I'm probably not going to agree with a lot of stuff in this book either. It's, fit, it's, fit, it's fit the two. I mean, we even she, um, she made, you get to tell if she's possibly, keywords he said in the book, possibly a mm-hmm. hoe. Well, shoot, one thing that I know that's definitely that if your man calls you while you're getting banged out by another man and... Yeah, but that's, that's, not, that's not in the book. Ooh. All right, so here's the first one. This one I don't agree with. Number one, she had sex with you on the first date. I do not agree with that one. Because oh. a lot of times, the girl could really just like the shit out of you. And you, you know, she's just been hoping that you would ask her out. You know, she just don't want to lose you. So she's like, fuck it. I'm giving it up. I'm right. giving this nigga the coochie. So that's a negative, that's a, that's a negative on me. All right, what do you guys think? All, I, I all three. Answer. All three. Yeah, all three yeah, thumbs down. Three thumbs old. down. That's not. not. Shoot. The next one, she's bisexual. Another one I say no. 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 Like, that's, I'm like, who the fuck Your is this Your sexuality guy? has nothing to do with whether... You're, no. Right? Like, yeah. You could be you could girl could like both guys and girls and mm. haven't fucked anybody. Exactly. She could be a virgin. So how you can't call her a hoe based on that just because she likes, a, you know, girls, girls too. Are, like, shit, that's a bonus, my nigga. Like, come on, girl that likes guys and girls. That means you you fucked up in head. In my in my opinion. Oh, if you think your girl's a hoe because she like girls and guys? I never think that. No, I'm saying you the guy you would think the guy the guy's fucked up in the head if he thinks a girl is a hoe because she likes girls and guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally that's agree. Nay, nay. So three, she has a ton of male friends. This no. one, uh, it depends. It depends. It depends on the ratio of to me, to me, because I know a lot of girls who have a lot of guy friends who are not hoes. Thank but you. But then I do know a couple of girls who have nothing but guy friends and are hoes. Yeah. And that's why, like, it depends. Yeah, it really depends. It depends on the girl, because you know I know a few girls who have like uh, maybe have five guy friends and one girl best friend, and she's not a hoe. Exactly. But then I know a girl who has no girl best friends, and all her friends are, are guys. And I'm like, and you know, when I speak to the guys, they're like, "Yo, I beat." So it's like, "Nah, this bitch is a hoe." She's taking it for the yeah, team. Yeah, she's, she's, she's taking it for the team. You know what I mean? That's messed up. Now you can't really go through life like that. Man. You can't go through life like that. But, but that, like, that one, I would definitely say I'm not going. That's like I give a thumbs up for that one. Thumbs up, like it's that's 50, 50 coming, I'm just speaking. I from, feel fifty. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Know how I feel about that one, right? Because it's like you said, like there's just like I have one female best friend, like mm-hmm. that, that's it, right? But I have like a lot of male best friends, mm-hmm. and a lot of them, yeah, are gays, but it's still like, right, yeah. But no, the gay men inclu- is not included in this. We're talking about straight, just male, even straight best male friends. Friends. like it's mm-hmm. still like it's, mm-hmm. no, like, right. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I gotta give it a thumbs down. Give it a thumbs down? Oh, thumbs down. I got, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Maybe just kind of coming from the hood, and I've seen it for years. Like, I've seen girls go around, like, the, uh, like you should watch that 70s show. Come on now. Like, name it the 70s. I've seen it. It's like, we'll grow it up. Like, mm-hmm. So, it's not like I, it's not like I didn't go through it. I've so, had, I can't really put the choice. I can't say, hey, I can't say nay on it. So, I've, I've I gotta had, go 50. I've now. had guys even put me in the same category because I had female friends that mm-hmm. were like that. Mm-hmm. That they were just like, hey, so when are we smashing? And it's like, what? And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, but you hang out with so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she let me smash. And right. it's like, well, like, I don't. No, mm-hmm. I don't do that. Right. We're not going that way. Right. So I, I don't know. I, I, I hate, hate when people assume shit. But here's another one. Her male cousin are overly flirty with her. And I've seen situations like that. Why? And the girl was hoish. Like 
I'll never, I'll, he, I'll never forget. He's my mom. There's this girl I was talking to, right? And um, my crazy, crazy thing is, she was from your island, from the Virgin Islands. She was from Saint Croix, right? Yeah. So she was going. She went to the islands one summer, or whatever. I'm on the phone with her, or whatever. And her cousin's like, "Yo, cuz, you looking really good over there." And I'm sitting here like, "Ain't that, ain't that your cousin?" She's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "The fuck?" fuck. Niggas be saying, "Nick, I don't say that some shit like that to my cousin." Like, yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. Now I find out later, like, I mean, they, I don't think they were fucking, but I found out later that um, you know, she was a hoe. You know what I mean? So it was like. I don't know. So that's one like that's one may have a thing to it. I'm sorry. And this goes this for goes for guy hoes too. I know a couple of guy hoes that oh, yeah. you know flirt with their cousin. I, see, that's another one that I'm like, you know what? I, I don't know because in I, look, I grew up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm here. I'm from you know the states, but mm-hmm. I, I traveled to DR a lot. You mm-hmm. know, my dad's Dominican, and there's plenty of times that like. I've had my cousins like hit on me, and it's right. just like, bro, what are you doing? Right. Like, I don't know what y'all do here, right. but I don't do that. Right. Here. We we don't we don't do that where I'm from. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know. I mean, but I don't know how I feel about this book. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, this guy's mad religious. That's why I'm like, you can't. You know, I don't know about this man. That's why I'm like, we we need to discuss this today. Like, this mm. is a weird book. But I do know a guy. I won't say his name. Who I never forget. It, I, I used to make fun of him all the time about it. I was like. He he came back. I forgot where he went. He went he went um somewhere to the islands or whatever. And he's like, "Yo, man, there was this girl. I was really digging her. And then I found out she was my cousin. And I'm like, "Oh, then yeah, then you just you have to stay away from that. Then that's your cousin." And he's like, "Nah, but it's smash though." And I'm like, so you did you, you shine? No, 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 no. Wait, did he find out before he smashed or after? That's I think, my no. Question. It was before. It was before. And I was like, that, so you knew that was your cousin, and you smashed anyway. You want to hear something funny? Hmm. Completely side note. I have like cousins in mm-hmm. my family on my father's side right. that they dated and everything found out that they were cousins uh-huh. and to this day now they're, they're married with two kids that wow. just graduated college that's crazy. like that's and crazy. I'm like I remember going to the house and my, like, my family telling me like you know that they're cousins too right <laughs> and I was just like what <laughs> this this doesn't seem right there's a song um 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 when Lil Wayne did the rock album um what was the name of the song um um I think it was um she, I forgot the name of the song, but um at the end of the song he like she stole my heart she ran away da, uh, uh, but I fucked her anyway so oh, and he like they're, like it's a rock song so they still go fuck her anyway fuck her and so every time uh, uh, I see my I see my band I'm like you knew that's your cousin and you fucked her anyway oh, you fucked her anyway. <laughs> Damn, so. But yeah, so guy, I for I, if we talk about men and women hoes, I could give this one a thumbs up. I'll give this one a thumbs up. So then this one I don't agree with. She greets every guy she knows with a hug. Thumbs down yeah, for that one. Thumbs down. That's a thumbs down. People are friendly. People are friendly. People are friendly. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna not disagree gonna with that one. Somebody from like, hey, how you doing? That's some insecure shit to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when you tell her, hey, you'll be hugging every nigga you see. That's I mean, some insecure I'm, shit. I'm, I'm gonna go off of your vibe. Like, I'm gonna uh-huh. naturally just put out my hand, you mm-hmm. know, pound, whatever. But mm-hmm. if you come in for the hug, all right, fine. Like, like if, if this is my friend, friend oh no, no, my god, this she greets them with the hug. She's open, open, and coming up to them and giving them That's a hug. No, oh. still, like some. She, she, she could be free spirit unless she's going, hey, brother, and you know, you know, then I might be like. What, what's with all the extras? Hey, <laughs> you you extended that hey <laughs> for a little too long. <laughs> I don't know. As, as, to as me, a, I dis- I disagree with this one. As I a disagree. female, I'm disagreeing with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yo, I'm disagreeing with <laughs> this from one. my point of view, I'm disagreeing I have to with disagree, it a lot because I've met some met some females that mm-hmm. they gave me a hug, gave gave them like pounds the and shit, and, and everything was all right. Right. Thank like you. I didn't really like I didn't felt no like. Disturbance or anger with it, so mm-hmm. I would give this a no. Right, yeah, this one I'm like, nah, that just got to be a very insecure man. The next one, she sends you nudes or sexual photos of herself before you actually met her in person. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first one I got you. Yes. <laughs> Sad, but yes, cause oh god, it's yes. But what yes. if she's an Instagram model and she, cause I have yeah. a lot of girls who like, cause I'm in, the, you know, I'm in the industry. They all send me pictures, like, yeah, this is from my last shoot, and you know, they be like, okay, but they send you with a string on a tat, like they don't send you full breast and vag, do they? No. Thank you. But but still, that's they, a no. I I I can't trust oh, that. That's if fake say, to me. If you say said nudes and it's just like if I no, I don't ask nobody to send no nudes. No, no, I'm not it. saying you personally, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying if the conversation goes, hey, you're hot, send nudes, and the first thing I send you is nudes. 
Listen, no. no. Yeah, you're a thigh. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Okay. I don't get to know you. There's no coffee. I want to meet you in person. Like, like, I don't on. even know your name. <laughs> <laughs> I just know you as Sweet well, Mango Facebook 44 now. on Instagram. Yep. Like, I don't know if that's a real person. If you are, I'm sorry. I, mean, I, was, just, <laughs> I was thinking out loud here. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know, I don't know if there's an actual Sweet Mango out I, there. Now I want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you Next. Know what? I'm gonna, no. <laughs> the next one is she has kids by several different men. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I can't agree with that one. I can't agree with that one. Nope. She could just have poor choices. I was out of the blood. Yeah. <laughs> nope. nope. This guy is overly religious on this one. I mean, I sense. feel that you need to, you know, realize what a condom is. Mm-hmm. But, no. Because she has kids with different fathers but never been married. No. Mm, no, I can't agree with that one either. No. She no longer, she no longer friends on speaking terms with her a, a, a relative because she's accused of sleeping with their man. It's a Mari show shit in this book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, yo, that, Jerry is, Springer too. Right? Like, like, <laughs> her mother is a hoe. She used to date a pimp. She works as a stripper or exotic dancer now or in the past. Whoa. It's like, yo. <laughs> yo, listen. For all females out there, uh, hustle for your money. Nah, if, if, if she a hoe and she a hoe, bro. You know the thing. Yeah, but the, that the, does the not mean if you an exotic is... dancer, you could just be worried. I'm sorry. You could, you a lot could, of girls these days aren't even exotic dancers. They're just bottle girls the, who the just funny, like fucking strippers. Yeah, the funny thing is that, like, as a oh. child, wow. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a high moment, guys. I was blown. And I, I pressed the blowtorch, and I didn't realize there was a cap on it. So I was literally just it, surprisingly, the shit didn't burn down. But yeah, go on. <laughs> um. As a kid growing up, I thought that strippers were hoes. Like naturally, I thought if you were a stripper, you had to be a hoe. Right. Like, I thought that was part of the VIP room. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was part of like that was literally part of your job description. And then growing up, like I, I mean, some hoes, you know, yeah, I mean, lot, you know, some hoes strip, but not, not all strippers process. are hoes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's some not hoes, a start process. Some hoes strip and strip. Not all strippers are hoes. That's why I, I, I have to give that one. A I have, uh, gotta give that one a thumbs down because, mm. shoot. Some 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 uh, politicians and some females that need to work go through college mm-hmm. wanted to pay that shit off quick. That's mm-hmm. one of the quickest ways to do it. So mm-hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and act like that. Some not some bodies are great, but some minds are not. But once you have the opportunity and you have both at the same thing, you gotta use what you got to get what you got to get quick. Look, all I'm saying is that there's a difference between like. Shake your ass for money and jumping on a dick for money. Exactly. Yeah. There's it's a big a, difference. There's a difference between hustling. And so you, when you got your, you know, you got your sugar daddies. Mm-hmm. Like, there's plenty of chicks out there that have sugar daddies that have sex just to, just to get paid. Right. But you, but yeah, that's escorts? a paycheck at the end of the day. Well, escorts? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah sugar well, babies. Uh, that's, escorts are definitely, I think, a host. Because you're literally being paid to get fucked. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a high class. But that's, but, that's a high class. Isn't that what a hoe is, though? A woman who hustles? A hoe is, well, just, her pussy? Somebody, a hoe is just someone who just freely <laughs> gives her pussy out. Wait. So, wait. wait, so, wait, wait, wait okay. So, all right. You're going to have to... The next one I was going to say... A she wor- wait, 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 no, This is crazy. Cause we, the next one I was going to say is she works in the porn industry. So, that was the next So, so you're telling me a woman who gets paid... To be on camera. No, no, no. I'm just talking. A woman who gets paid to get fucked is not a hoe. In my opinion, I don't think so. In your opinion, you don't think so. I, in my opinion, no. I don't think so. So a woman who fuck, you know, is down the block. Hey, daddy, you know what you what you getting into? You know, I rock your world for forty five dollars. That's not a hoe, no. even though that's what the word whore came from. The hoes, you know, that's not a hoe. No, that's not a hoe. Even. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but mm-hmm. in my opinion, uh-huh. like, you you struggling, right? Like, Shit's expensive out here. Right. Like you gotta do. Like sometimes you gotta suck dick some for some hamburgers. Like. But I'm not saying so, I'm a personally. So wait, wait, wait. So a girl who's smashing all the niggas in the world is a hoe, but the girl who gets paid for it is not a hoe. She get paid for it. She a working hoe. That's she the works. only difference. That's She's a working hoe. Still, it's still a hoe. She, that is. Listen. It's still a hoe. Just because I'm fucking you on camera doesn't mean you're still not a prostitute. She is a self-employed. <laughs> when those taxes sex, come. Yo, it's really hard for sex workers because it's like you really, it's a, it's, a, it's you on a thin line right here. It's between commerce and being a hoe. Like it's, it's a real thin line here. I don't know. I'm well, not, shoot, you're you're 
freaking putting oh, stuff to, on this camera. This topic just completely didn't just, work. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, turned out to the worst. Oh, right? so What's the next thing? We're going to get a whole bunch of strippers and sports <laughs> guys. Do not like, have hey, don't topic. slut shame me. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to slut shame anybody here, but I'm just... I'm just trying to understand what is a hoe. You know, I don't remember when I got this book, but now that I have this book, I'm really interested in now what classifies as a hoe. You know what I mean? Like, there was a part in this book, I skipped it because I'm like, I don't agree with this. They're like, oh, she had sex with over 10 men, she a hoe. I'm like, that don't make no fucking sense. Because no. this generation, like, when I was fucking 17, 18, when I first started having sex, I did with a girl who already went through dirty niggas. So it's like... I mean, no, she was a hoe. I'm sorry. No, she was a hoe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can't think about it. No, she was a hoe. No, 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 no. Yo, time out. You, wait, time you're out. Scared. You, you, you can't be sex mad for parties. But the thing is, she, she introduced me to Sex in the City. And once I realized what Sex in the City was about, the whole show from Jump Street, first episode, where it's like, short stories, like, yo, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to fuck like a man, do. I'm going to fucking be a thought like a man. You know, so... You know, that, that we're all sluts. Every, 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 <laughs> everybody, you know, this whole sexual liberation thing, man. But you know, I, 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 me personally, you know, because I'm very religious, my ass is trying to keep my body count low as possible. So when I go to the gates of heaven, I don't have to explain <laughs> the list of people. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I don't think that, like, you, like, when it comes down to uh, pleasures for the body, you know, according to the Bible, the first person you have sex with is technically your wife, right? So we're all cheating on our wives at this point. Uh, yeah, a yeah. Lot. So it's like you're gonna have to explain who these other seven, eight, nine, ten people are after you got married. To the Lord, like, you got some explaining. <laughs> I will freely say, uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> Look, man, the what, what, flesh is weak. I'm right here. <laughs> you, wait, you made me in your image. What's up? Like, explain. I'm like, I already know what I'm saying. Ain't Jesus died for my sins? Like, he died for me to explain why I accidentally had these extramarital affairs. <laughs> Time out. What? Like, like, she did me wrong. Like, come on, man. Talk to me about this. Next one is her point collection is bigger than yours. Thumbs down. What? Thumbs down. Thumbs Heck down. No. Thumbs down. That's thumbs a that's down. a turn on. What? Thumbs down. Oh, that's a turn on. What? Thumbs what? down. That don't make no I sense. love you. <laughs> Put all these all right on that's top. See, of that's that's the true. Yeah, right. The light won't even light for that one. That's like that's some bullshit. One of her sexual fantasy is to screw two guys at the same time. <laughs> I, listen for the record Wait, I, I hate this book right. <laughs> Pause it. I'll be right back <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get another lighter yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm afraid to get another lighter <laughs> this, 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 uh, this, uh, some extra points in here look he goes one of her sexual fantasies is to screw, to screw two guys at the same time doubling up on penises is a no no Sign that your girl is a double upper. She tells you it's her fantasy. She has two prolonged dildo. One slides into the cooch. The other slides up at her butt at the same time. Oh. She tells you it's already, she already fulfilled that fantasy. And she knows way too many dudes that's willing to go do it with her again. Oh, my gosh. Can we put this book away? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm back. Now what happened? She plays with dildos in her butt and her vagina at the same time and already did it before. Where the heck did this guy meet these fantasy, females? Like, fantasy. bro. This guy must meet these girls on Tinder or something. Like, yo. She has fantasies about, like, being probed by two different guys at the same time. That is and a fantasy. That is a personal problem. No, but they said she already did it. I don't care. Okay, she's out of her. No, did you... I don't think that she... I think that if she wanted a sexual experience, uh -huh. that's her personal thing. So uh -huh. that's her privacy. Right. So if she did that in the past and uh -huh. you're with me now, I don't give a damn. You're not a hold of me. Right. So that's my personal opinion. Well, if you're in love with a person, you don't care yeah. about who they were before. Exactly. All that go out the so, window. But you got to literally be in love with that person and be like, yo, I don't care, I don't care who you yeah. were before. That's not have nothing to do with me. But not every guy's like that. Yeah. A lot of men are insecure. A lot of like, niggas going to be like, how many niggas? <laughs> 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 so me having Yo, sex with But his was face was like perfect. Oh my god, you guys missed it. We need to start filming this. His face was on point. Oh. Yo, I know how men think. As a, as a, you know, I talk to a lot of people because I'm a writer, and I always want to get into people's heads so I can write these characters. And when I talk to men about women, you know, guys quickly put women in a whole category. A sap will know nothing about a woman, but just one thing about it, be like, oh no, she a hoe. She gotta be a hoe. And it's like, how do you base that on that? You know what I mean? And that's why I'm very interested in this topic. Because it's like, 
you know, like this guy must seem like he went through a lot of shit. <laughs> he went, like, that, this <laughs> or his wife told him some shit. Right? Like, a lot of personal. Yeah, this must be personal. really personal experience. Somebody hurt him. Somebody, somebody hurt Mac Major. Somebody <laughs> hurt this. Man. Somebody hurt this man. You know, we know where. You know what the weird part is? We're only on page six. Dang. Oh my god. We're only on page six. How, right? how long we've been recording? Uh, it is. Let's see. How long have we been going now? 20, almost 20 minutes. Wow. 20 minutes. And we're only on... Um, six page. Six page. We're, about, we're now hitting up uh, twenty uh, number 25, which is... No, I'm sorry, 24, which is she, she's not sure who her baby daddy is. She's not sure who her, her baby... <laughs> okay. So that, that's real Marvel show shit right here. Okay. okay. Now, I've seen a lot of Marvel shows where a girl showed up eight, nine times trying to figure out which one the daddy. You saw nine? I saw 13. <laughs> I was like, bruh. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That's a hoe. I, I got you, you don't know yeah. who your baby daddy is. And I'm sorry if, you know, you you're fit that category. You know, I don't mean to slut shame you. But, you know, it is what it is. You a hoe. You know, we're in the age of Amber Rose when they have slut walks. I guess be proud of your shit now. You know, hold yourself you hold yourself accountable. If you don't want to be a hoe no more, be you an ex-hoe. Un- unfortunately, I have to agree with that one. Like, if you can't sit here and be like, that is the father of my child. And I'm speaking as a parent, as a single mom. Uh-huh. Like, if, if I couldn't sit there and be like, so-and-so, this is your child. Or right. I have to question myself. Like, I... I, I that's oh, a hoe. That's a whole move right there. I would call myself a hoe. That's a, that's a hoe. That's a hoe. I'm the first sorry. thing I would come up with, nah, I'm a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fix this. <laughs> I can't tell my child who who her father is. Like, who her you? or his father is. Right. That's oh, yeah. the problem, man. Yeah. I'm speaking on my own personal. Story. And then, the, like, oh, God, that's, that's not sad, but that's bad. Right. Um, I still have to say, yeah, I, I have to say it too, because I, like, if I want to be like, yo, who's my dad? Uh huh. You and you can't point him out. You need a moral compass and a bloodline. That's some shit. Like you gotta do what Prince says: right. pussy control. Sometimes, right? Yeah, so self control. But that's anyway, with men too. If you, well, yes. Oh hell yeah! So I'm glad with men yes. and women. I mean, you can't say I don't know who my baby mama is. Like, like, like right? Like, you know exactly who your baby mama is. Like. Unless your kid just show up on your doorstep one day and you're like, who the fuck dropped this kid off? It happens. <laughs> yeah, three, three men and a baby. <laughs> that was the whole part of that movie. They are like, who dropped this kid off? Who's ba- whose baby is this? Shoot, heck yeah, next please. She knows a lot of dudes in the entertainment industry. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Oh, yeah. Anybody these days, you can know, you can know a lot of people in the entertainment industry. And you don't know, and don't be fucking anybody. You but, can know the security guard, right? They, you can know the bouncer. There's plenty of times you can know people in the entertainment industry and not even realize that the they're in the industry. Is, is, yeah, they're like, oh, that's my nigga. I didn't know that nigga does that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a thumbs down for that one. She used to roll with a gang. Now, to me, this depends on the gang. If we're talking about some crazy ass, maybe MS-13 or you know Hell's Angels and shit like that, mm. I'm. Well, I can't say MS-13 because I don't know too much about them. But I know in Hell's Angels, you had you do gang bangs in that shit, like that to be part of that shit well, to be initiated. Know. They initiate the women through gang bangs, you know. So. Well, time out. The certain gangs. Well, not all gangs do this, but yeah, I know a lot do. Yeah, a lot do. A lot like, do. A lot Shoot, of them usually do. when the female. They'll do the same thing what men do, yo. But you gotta get jumped true. in. You, no, 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 you gotta give, get jumped in. I give, I give that one a thumbs down. That, that's, thumbs not, down that's, not that's not true. That's not true. I say it depends on the gang. No. I say it I, depends I, on the gang. Because yeah. I fucked with a lot of gangs growing up, and there was a lot of girls in there, and they weren't being fucked. Ironically Shoot, some enough. Sorority, some sorority parties technically are kind of gangs in the college world. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. And they I, just show up, got to have grades, or they got to do what they got to do. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that because... If you part of fraternity, it's part of a gang, but it's part of a fraternity gang mm-hmm. within the school. Mm-hmm. So I can't. I said give but that. They be, but they be, yeah, but they be telling them to fuck the other niggas from the other fraternities. So. Oh no, that's by that's by their own choice. Like they, they when they have when the other sororities have parties, mm-hmm. yo, you guys want to come over, and then that's by your own fucking choice. Mm-hmm. Because most you, never of the time, see, you ever seen the movie School Days? I seen the School Days. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you remember the part with um, Tisha K- Tisha Campbell, the lady who played um, Gina and Martin? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You remember uh, how the nigga was like the main dude from the fraternity? Was like, all right, you gotta go. Fuck this nigga now. Yep. She's like, you got to spy, um, sp- um, fuck Spike Lee and mm-hmm. shit. And then she went to go fuck him. So does that, that not make her a uh, hoe? In my eyes, when I saw that movie, uh-huh. yeah. So, so that means technically, if uh, you know, the same thing applies for girls and gangs. Then, if a girl is telling uh, then the nigga telling, yeah, Yo, you got to fuck my other nigga who's also in this gang. That means you technically I don't, a hoe. I don't think so. I when I was in high school, unless you're, you know, my in my opinion, you're you're, you're not there by choice and you're forced to be there on some sex slave shit. That's the only way I'm like, oh, you're not a hoe. You you a victim. That's the only, the only way I, I don't. My, yeah. Like, personally, like, with me, I dated a lot of guys in high Like, you know, the guys I dated in high school uh-huh. were in gangs. Uh-huh. I didn't realize until after I started dating them. Mm-hmm. It was the same gang. It wasn't uh-huh. like I was jumping. Now, are we talking, them. like, 
big criminal organized gangs? Or are we you, talking they, about street, some street level shit? Like, ironically enough, every guy I dated was a blood. Right. So I, I, I found out after mm-hmm. we started dating, like maybe like two, three months in. Uh-huh. I didn't really care. I was right. like, whatever. Now, if he had approached me and told me, like, hey, you need to fuck my homeboy, like, hey. I'm out. Right. Like, I, but you were not blood, so that don't count. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm talking know. about girls who were specifically in the gang themselves and got to be initiated through fucking. That's got to go through the whole team. That's the choice. That's the choice that that's that's choice. Nah, that's the choice that you make. You're old. So she a hoe, though. Yeah, she, yeah. she, she yeah. If you go in and But that's not what What was it that the... the no, it just said she was in a gang. So oh. no, she not. So. No, she wrote... It said she, she, she rolled with Yeah, she used to roll with a gang. Okay, so... She okay, so yeah. She already made that choice. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Do, 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 do. All her brothers are pimps. Who did this man date? Jesus Christ. Really, my Lord. Lord. What, how I, You would okay. never know that. What are the chances of all your brothers being, being pimps? Pimp. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. You ever heard Richard Pryor's story? His, he literally grew up in a brothel. His grandmother run this shit. His mama was a hoe. His daddy was a pimp. Like, that was, that's some real shit. They're making a movie about it now. Like, Eddie Murphy's supposed to play his daddy. Kid you not. Wait to see that movie. Really wait to uh, see that movie. Okay. Let's see next one. Uh, I don't know. That's a yay or nay, but I can't. I can't choose I that so. one. Like I don't. I, I if if ooh. I don't think it would make any sense if you're, all, all your brothers are pimping. You still came out of the hoe. Like but, come on, your brothers would have been like, you're not doing this. Let's really think about this. I would have been like, you're going to college. Well, if your mom is a hoe and you know your grandma is a hoe. Somebody should have been smart enough to say, look, let me use this and get the fuck yeah, out of here. You grew up thinking everybody's a hoe. Right. All right, we're going to start continue skipping because there's way too many fucking things on this list. I have enough to read. My brain is exploding right? for this dude. Like, yo, bro, you need a hug. Right? He needs a therapist. Right? He needs, like, don't even go to the bottle. Oh, yeah, he definitely went through some experience. Like, listen to this one. She had sex with you even though she knew you were married. That, yep. that I, You can say that out of hoe? Time I, out. If you knew... That she was married. You are a home wrecker. Home wrecker, but not a hoe. You are. You are home a wrecker. hoe. You are home wrecker. But then again, you, you know, you, you know, a lot of you, things. You, 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 you because you, agree, you basically just fucked the home up. Uh-huh. And but you can't spell home wrecker without hoe. Thank you. Shit. Exactly. Damn. You a hoe. Yeah. 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 You a hoe. You knew that. So uh, I guess you she was right on this one, bro. So yay. On thumbs, up, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up on that one. Okay. On. Next. She's a church pastor, special, quote unquote, special assistant, and travels with him everywhere he go. Okay. The church groupie. Oh, this is this is gonna be your type, bro. Like, how do you feel about this? I've been in a lot of churches, and I definitely know. I've seen a few pastors who I uh, definitely was fucking a lot of people in the congregation. Not even just the pastors, and even fucking elders and fucking bishops and shit. Like, there was. I, I won't name any names because we don't do that here. But I do know a girl. Like, like, I'll never forget it. Like, I'm sorry if she's listening. I don't mean to call you a hoe, but Shorty was a hoe. You know? Like, because like, originally she liked me, and I was, like, really more to her friend. So, I had, you know, I'm not going to, you know, funk, fake the fuck with anybody. Like, hey, you know, I'm not really fucking with you like that. But my brother do like you, though. So, you know? And she ASAP jumped on him. And he was, like, because she was a church girl, like, oh, she's sanctified. She, she's, you know, I'm, I'm going to fuck with her because she, she got to be clean because, she, you know, she coming from the church and shit, right? Well, technically, wouldn't it kind of make sense that she, like... I mean, she was attracted to you, but your brother's a twin. Yeah. I I mean, that's not... I'm I'm not done with the story yet. That's not... Her jumping on that Eddie is not why she a hoe. That's not why I'm saying she a hoe. So, we run into this dude that we used to go to school with in Haiti, you know? And we're shocked to see this nigga. Like, yo! What the fuck? Like, you know, we haven't seen this dude... In almost, in almost 10 years You know what I mean And we're and we're, where we see him On a fucking green course In our own neighborhood So it's like What the fuck And like yo I swear Since I got back from Haiti I thought that was you But I can't tell You know You never responded to my email So I never do He's like yeah I had a feeling that was you too Like we didn't And crazy The way we found each other We were smoking and shit So it's like <laughs> Like oh shit So we Weed brings people together Right We really brings people together right. Yes please So One day we're chilling And whatever and, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, you got still seven-day advantage because the school we went to was a seven-day advantage school. I'm like, yeah, we still go to seven-day advantage school. I mean, still seven-day go to seven-day advantage church. He's like, which one? I want to say which one so people can't tell which specifics. So I'm like, da 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 He goes, oh, shit, I used to go there, too. He's like, word. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, word, da 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 I'm like, yo, you know such and such and such? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, word, Eddie's smashing da 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 He goes, oh, no. And I'm like, oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? He's like, hold on. Go through his phone. He like this. Here's an email she sent me the last time I was fucking with her. And an email she's talking about, you know, oh I love sucking your dick and swallowing the cum and da 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 da. I'm like, and Eddie's like, what? Oh. So, 
<laughs> this whole mind changed. His whole mindset changed with that. Like, oh, I'm going to treat this bitch like a hoe then. You know, and then, you know, he do explain the whole thing. Like, yo, man, she fucks everybody at the church. She fucks in the church. She fucking, you know. Let's uh, next one. Oh, wow. Oh, nay, 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 yo, <laughs> you know, nigga had, you know, he had the receipts. Okay, so oh. what's this about the pa- uh, de- uh, what pastor's uh, special assistant? Special assistant. That I... is a movie. Yeah, it's <laughs> a movie. That's yeah. a movie. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Ooh, so that assistant part. Yes. So it's not true Ooh. all the time, but it do exist. Yes. It do exist. That so was the one that's a 50/50, I know. Fifty-fifty, like you yeah. don't know. Yeah. Because yeah. she could also be that faithful. Yeah, she could be the faithful woman. Yeah. Exactly. But so, you know, I'm going. just speaking. I was talking about someone who's in our age group. You know, yeah, so, yeah. so you know, to let people know it does happen in our age group. Mm-hmm. You know, older heads. You know, I'm not. I'm not in their circles like that, so I can't speak on them. But for our age group, there are people in the church, fucking them, everybody, <laughs> fucking everybody. You know? So. Next, she goes away for the weekend with her friends, quote unquote friends, a lot. Yeah, no. That's a 50 50 for me because. Yeah, cause I know a lot of girls who like to travel. Shit, especially when y'all get out of an argument. <laughs> I, I don't need to argue. I mean, the girls in general who just like to travel. Girls no, like to travel. girls don't like to travel. That's that's a that's a that's of course. Yeah, the question is who are these friends that you're traveling with? Exactly. That's Who's the company that Because I know you're... your friends are hoes. And I know these girls are escorts and shit. That's you escort too, home. then. Don't lie to me. You're home. You know, yeah, vacation. It's, it's, it's you on a business trip. Didn't I just say that? Like yesterday, I was having a conversation with you about that. Like yep. people that you associate yourself with. Like those are the people that you, you know. Birds of a feather flock together. Your personality, you like, is based off like your friends. Right. Like if your friends are hoes, like you, you, you are hoe in training. You are hoe in training. Yeah. You are hoe in training. You just never got your feet wet yet. Like when I thought about it, like. Putting myself in that position is like mm-hmm. the only friend that I would really travel with is Viv. So I'm like, he would mm-hmm. know, like, right. what Viv. Right. Like, I, 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 I no. Right. It depends on the, the, the friends. It, it, depend, yeah, it, depends, it depends on that friend. On, yeah. Like, if, if you're going with four girls and all four of those girls have booking info on their Instagram page, mm-hmm. I'm going to start, un- I'm like, I don't know about mm-hmm. this. Every weekend, mm-hmm. I don't know about this. And y'all not models? You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Average shows. Right? Nope. Like, I don't yep. know. Nope. So that's Just because you take some pictures on Instagram, don't make you a model. Mm-hmm. You know, you got like, models is paid gig. You know, I man, you know what I knew the difference between a real model and Instagram models when I knew models who actually got paid to be taking photos of. Like they were not even just mag- even if it was just magazines. You know, they were actually published. You know what I mean? Like, granted, some girls have to. You know, you got to start off with Instagram and then you make your transition towards publishing and everything like that. But there are some girls. Who don't do no publishing whatsoever. They haven't been featured in any magazine, haven't featured in any video, but they're models and they have booking info. Mm-hmm. And you see them traveling all the time, but you don't see them putting no work as a quote unquote model. No calendars, no you know, swim you know, swim shoot swim um swim suits. The, the girl that um Well, I don't know if she had any like actual like but the girl that did you hear about the story with Future and, and some yeah, Instagram yeah. model that he was th- Right, she's probably one right there. But, I, but I, she I, clearly I wasn't a hoe. Her. Clearly, she wasn't she a hoe. Claims. <laughs> she claims. She claims. And he was like, "I'm good, love. <laughs> Enjoy." <laughs> Next one. She hangs out in clubs and bars. No, no, no not at all. Next, we girls like to go. Girls like to party. Girls I'll like to dance, please. and love girls like to get free drinks. Exactly. Like, so, like, like girls could go home, leave the house broke as shit. Come to the club and get free drinks all fucking night. So hey, that's a dub. I forgot which. Where would you go somewhere where you get free drinks? Which comedian I was? I forgot who I was listening to, but he said it in the skit, and he was just like, "My girl, I allow my girl to go out to bars and clubs just to get drunk right. on another nigga's tab. <laughs> come home and get and fucked I by get me. Free, free pussy <laughs> on a, I get free drunk pussy on another nigga's tab. By all means, go out. <laughs> I'll see you when you get home, man. What? I'll be up. I'll, I'll be here. I'll be Actually, here. I will pick you up from the bar. Right? Like, I'm on my way. <laughs> like, excuse me. Tell me when, 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 when you're ready. Wait, matter of fact, we're going to give her five more drinks just to make sure she's at that level that right. I like. And then I'm going. Here's another one. She knows every guy in the bar, in the club. And this, this guy must be very insecure because this is what he says in the bracket. Again, what makes her so popular with the guys? This nigga is so insecure. Wow. And, and this is definitely that was definitely this is that his insecurity just showed right here officially, officially, <laughs> officially at this point right here. Like my nigga, who hurt you? Who hurt you? What was her name? <laughs> right, Roxanne. 
Roxanne. Roxanne. Roxanne. Roxanne. <laughs> Oh, that made me see. I can see this man in the shower singing roses by Outkast all day. <laughs> like, crazy bitch. <laughs> Stupid ass bitch. Crazy bitch. Oh, fuck ass bitch. <laughs> crazy bitch. <laughs> like, like, if you see him crying tears, oh, dumb ass bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's win. Oh, Jesus. Bitch. Um, Recording himself in the bathtub. Right. All these ideas. Like, right? <laughs> yeah, you know how you know she a hoe. <laughs> He's bending to himself. I'm putting this in a with book. With the music playing in the background. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, I've seen this one before. She stands up in a church and testifies that she used to be a hoe. I've seen this plenty of times. One too many times I could count on my fingers. Where a good woman stands up, she's like, I used to have, you know, eight ways with other with different men. And da, 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 da. I've heard those. I Don't think this. Don't think this. You're I, a hoe. It comes out your fucking mouth, and you testify. Oh my god! You testify. Oh my. God. That you a hoe. See, see something. You I a hoe. Some, I know. I see some of these pastors out here be like, "Oh, for real?" You can go Damn. on social media and find some of this stuff. I see most of it on World Star, and it's multiple times. Where the what? Like I see one time where they literally cut the women off. They took the mic. She's like, "I used to suck dick for crack." <laughs> Boop, grab the mic. <laughs> All right, what? Uh, <laughs> we gonna pray for you, sister. We gonna pray for you. It's like, wow, we got kids in here. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to have the adult version of this <laughs> with no kids and everything. Like I've seen it. Like, <laughs> Damn. Like people, yeah, that's real. What? Yeah, that's real. Why do I picture this nigga just really <laughs> the bitch, like tackling her to the ground, like <laughs> boom. <laughs> So there was one video where this woman went on for at least eight minutes. And, and they allowed it? And they allowed it. <laughs> like, she went into every little detail. So about, I got God Araya. Like, Lord Jesus. No, 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 no. This is not why I came. But, you know, no slut shaming in the church. You know, they're there for a reason. They're, they're looking for forgiveness. You know, they're like, I'm, I'm sorry for being a hoe, my Lord. I've been a hoe my life, all my life, Lord. And I'm sorry about yeah, being a hoe. Yeah, but I think that's probably one of the reasons that a lot of churches have confessionals. Right. I mean, you're not thinking, no, I ain't confessing to no man about my sins. I'm telling, I'm telling God and God alone. I like, you know, it's me, my woman, and God is the only <laughs> people who need to know about these sins. You know what I mean? I don't need my mama but and the whole congregation your, to know. Would you tell your woman that you were sucking dick for crack? If I was sucking dick for crack, hell yeah. You would tell your woman. She needs to know. I was a dick. I was sucking dick for crack, baby. I was at my lowest point. I was at some low shit, baby. You gotta accept me at my best and my worst. And you need to know. At one point, I was sucking dick for crack. <laughs> if I was sucking dick for crack, my woman gotta know. She gotta know. Because here's the thing. If you're a crackhead, you you most likely with another crackhead. So she'd be like, I did too. <laughs> like, I'm with you, babe. Like, you know, like there's, there's a uh, part in Kevin Hart's book called um, um, yeah, I Can't Make This Stuff Up, where he talks about his daddy. And, you know, his father was a crackhead and his father was never single he always had some other crackhead woman with him so sucking dick apparently don't turn another woman off if you get what she want like baby you gotta suck I'll, I'll be right there with you baby yep. suck that dick we gonna get this crack tonight <laughs> life, life expectancy right? no. I honestly believe if you're in any relationship you gotta be honest all the way around from Jump Street cause if you were sucking dick for crack and you never told your woman and then she find out later like, Shifa was kissing this man who was sucking dick. Like, you know, it's, it's, yeah, that relationship I mean, not going to last. But, I mean, what if you, you know, you get with a woman that never did drugs and you're clean. And this is something that you did, like, 10, 15 years ago. She got to know. She got to know. Because she found out. You got kids with her now. If she find out from somebody else, it's going to be worse. <laughs> if I did tell her and she run into one of my old crackhead buddies or some shit. Like, hey, Davis. Hey, Davis, I haven't seen you in my long, man. Oh, well, actually, Yo, I still got the rocks, bro. I don't think you'll be going in that territory he for a while. He got his <laughs> He got his tear. <laughs> so jealous. Probably over here right crying now. over here. <laughs> so jealous. Of like, what, if, what if me and my wife walking down the street and my old crackhead buddy shows up? <laughs> Like, hey, man. Oh, that's a skit What's in going a movie. On, bro? That's a skit in a movie. <laughs> you two got to smoke these rocks with me now, man? Like, come on, man. I still got them if you need them. Like, we can do it right now. I got them. It's good. Got this glass stick over here. Give me a second on this glass stick, my brother. <laughs> like, Yo. And I had the clay. You're like, babe, you know, I had a, I had a previous life once. <laughs> anyway, it got ugly. It got, but I got help. Oh. I got help, baby. You know what made me think about that the most? You ever seen Half Baked? Yes. With, in that moment when he <laughs> he went to trying to get hope, he was like, "Yeah, I'm addicted to marijuana." And Bobby Tag is like, "That's nothing. Perfect. You know it's me. You it's me. You suck dick for coke." <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, "Danny Tanner, what are you talking about? Does Michelle know this? <laughs> like, does DJ and Stephanie know this? I, I bet Joey was here for this. Joey probably it was Joey, wasn't he? You suck Joey's dick for the coke, didn't you?" Look at this, another teardrop. 
<laughs> well, you know, oh I'm sure it, it exists. I'm sure it, it exists. exists. It exists. Even if this, that's not in a book. But if you took a dick for coke, you you a hoe. Wait, if this wasn't in a book, how did this even come up? Because we're talking about... You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> Let me talk about people who testify. <laughs> We're gonna edit this part out. They get this full shit real. God damn it. Okay. Next, please. We have got to get off this topic, bro. She admits that she used to be wild in her teens and twenties. Time out, yo. White teens and twenties. Okay, listen. Listen. That is the party life era. I am not going to sit here and act oh like that. It's not God. the party life era, bro. Especially if you, I met you in your thirties. Or late or oh. 20s. I'm like, yo, okay, who cares? Come on. Like, hey, hoes gonna be with another hoes. If you, if I was a hoe in my past and you was a hoe in your past, yeah, are we at the same matching yeah, numbers? Thank you. Like, hey, it happened, baby. Fuck I was, I was a teen once. Yeah. But I don't think, I think, no. Nah, if you're gonna hey. start comparing numbers, some people are gonna get their feelings hurt. Like, how much you been with? Oh, I've been with like um, seven, eight people. Ooh, ooh, why do you say that? <laughs> I, I, I got a couple more than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, how, how much more? <laughs> like, yeah, that is, that you should have left that alone. I don't ask those numbers. No. Girls ask that number for me, and I don't mind. I literally just told y'all my number. Mine is around seven, eight. You know, I don't mind my number, especially because I'm not a hoe. You know, I, I don't mind saying my number. Like, you know, and I'm not completely clean, but I'm not that dirty either. Exactly. So, you know, I, I mean, experience. I've, I've had my moments. I mean, technically, just because you're fucking a lot of people doesn't make you dirty. I want to point that out now. Fucking a whole bunch of people don't make you dirty. If you're catching shit and you switching <laughs> shit and you giving <laughs> shit, you you're dirty. dirty. That's where you re- that's where you officially become dirty. When you catching shit all willy nilly, you know, even if you get a shot and it goes away, you, you caught something, yeah. you you that's yeah. dirty. You got yeah. some dirty shit going on. You gotta take pills for it. You dirty. You <laughs> like you dirty. That's the only way. And if you are, I apologize. You know, if you we feel like we're shaming you <laughs> for being dirty, it's, you know, it's not your no. fault. It's not your fault. You fucked the wrong person. It I know a lot of people. It, you know, all it takes is to fuck the one wrong that person. That one person. That yep. one person. And I know yeah. a lot of girls who literally cried to me about it, like, oh my god, yep. I wish I never fucked this guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, yo, it's you know, it's not your fault. Mm-hmm. It's not your fault. You know, okay. it's that I, dirty nigga's fault. I got clients like that. Right. You know, like mm-hmm. it's it's hard. Right. Like, and, and and to see them like you know get upset and yeah. it's just like damn. Now I gotta talk them into treatment right and then there's some people that have to take pills every single day right like and then they have to realize like they have this whatever it is right. like it's it's, it's, it's hard. hard it's, it's definitely it's hard. Very hard yeah man. especially when especially because you gotta meet other people and everything like that mm-hmm. 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 and then you have to tell the other person up front because if you don't then you fucked up that, oh. well, that's when you become dirty yes. that's when you become dirty when you're not telling honest. nobody yeah. you don't tell somebody you're not dirty until you're not you giving it to people and not telling nobody like Shoot. I know a couple like I'll never forget this one girl um, you know, I knew she was burning, and I mean, she was like, "Yeah, I fucked this nigga." And I'm like, "Yo, you told him you burning?" She's like, "No." That's when I was like, "Oh, yeah, you, you dirty you, bitch, you, you, you dirty, you, know. you fucking dirty." At that yeah, point, nasty. you're clean when you when you up front about it. You dirty when you hide it. No, you dirty when you hide it. You just the honest, like I said, your numbers your numbers could be high and still be clean. Like, don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, there's, you, there's still people that's out there high and still clean. Mm-hmm. Dang, gotta delete that part. You ain't say no names. Nah, I didn't say no names, but repeating myself is getting ridiculous. But you're, if you do have something, we're not shaming you. If you, you know, you fucked the wrong person, you caught it. That's that, you know, it happens. But if you're running around and you're not telling nobody that you got it, you're dirty. You're dirty. Man. All right. Now, forty-four. We're skipping a whole bunch of now. She swallowed the first time she ever gave you head. No. That's experience. The, no. <laughs> no. 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 She got no. 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 No, but, but, but now I think no. it, to me it depends. Are y'all in a relationship, or is this some girl you just no. chilling with? Yeah, it depends no. on the situation. I think it depends. It, if, if it's a random, if yeah, yeah. if it's a random, I, it's it's kind of crazy. Because bitch, I don't know you from a whole. I don't know you from Adam, and you swallowing my kids. Oh, you a hoe. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're my woman, you, mm-hmm. we playing daycare. Thank you. you know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Next, no, May. No, 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 I have to. I have to say something about that. Oh, oh, hey, never mind. I have to. Mm-hmm. So swallowing a nigga you don't know, nut, it don't make you a hoe. Okay, I'm 50-50 about it. I have to be honest with you. Because mm-hmm. I would feel so... I would If somebody tells me, like, yeah, you know, like, I just met this dude, like, in the bar, went to the bathroom, sucked his dick, and, you know, I swallowed. Like, I'm going to look at you like you a hoe. Uh-huh. Right. All right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, speaking on a, like, you know, being clean, mm-hmm. that is the safest thing to do. Right. Like... If you're sucking dick mm-hmm. and you do not have a condom on the dick, the safest thing to do is to swallow. 
Well, you heard it first, lady. You heard it here. Swallow. I'm, 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 as, as, look, I'm serious. Like, God, Jerry, everywhere. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gotta listen to this podcast. Yeah. You gotta listen to this podcast, baby. This is some truth over here. As gross as it sounds, yeah, that, it is safer to swallow. Why? Because if you have cuts in your mouth, mm-hmm. or like you brush your teeth, you know, sometimes when you bleed, like you have open wounds in your mouth. If you spit it out, Mm-hmm. The sperm is some of it stays in, in a spit, Ew. and it gets into that, and that's how you get actual infections in your mouth, mm-hmm. herpes, STD, like gonorrhea in your mouth. Right. That's why I say it's safer to swallow mm-hmm. because once you swallow it, it hits your acid. Mm-hmm. The, the acid in the stomach kills off all the STDs. So it is scientifically, like Department of Health states, it is safer to swallow. So it's safe to swallow, and you're not a hoe if you swallow because it's safe apparently. <laughs> so. This one I disagree with. She had sex with more than two guys in the same year. That's a dub. That's a dub. That's a dub. That's a dub. Now, we talking about, like, two guys in the same week? I kind of feel like that's kind of... Two I mean, guys in the same week? Here's the thing. Sex, everybody's sexual liberated now, so right. now is the thing to be, you know, I'm, sex, I'm sexual free and da 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 I was insecure. These women are fucking every episode. And there was this one episode, this girl fucked two niggas in one week, and I was just... Not even one week. I think it was, like, within 24 hours of mm-hmm. each other. And I was like, that's kind of hoish. Yeah, that's That's kind of hoish, but, um... A year, you got 365 days. Sometimes, you right? And you only you, you only use three to fuck two niggas. Yeah, <laughs> like, like uh, yeah, yeah. Well, shit. I would just say. So we disagree with uh, same year, two in the same year. We disagree. Yeah. But in the same week span. Yeah. But we're talking week span, or you know, in the, between you know 28, 48 hours, 24, 20, 48 hours. Yes, definitely. Okay. Um. She has names of other guys tattooed on her body. Wow. Mm. If she got three niggas on her, I'm going to say yes. Nah, because, nah, I could be, nah, because you got it. That's a 50-50 because that could be a dead relative, grandfather. Yeah, no, I'm talking about if the niggas be fucked. Fuck. If niggas she fucked, yeah. Then, yeah I mean, if she tells you these are niggas that she fucked, fuck. then I have to question your, you know, your, mm-hmm. your, your decision making. Mm-hmm. But if it's family, like. Yeah, no, we're not talking family here. We're talking about, according to this guy, guy she, she, that she was attached to. Did he die a certain way? Man, they ain't going through no details like that. Uh, I don't like. I, 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 okay, I he, he continues he's on this blunt she, about it. He, she had a tattoo that reads "Hit a Daddy" on her lower back. That reads what? Hit her daddy. The tattoo reads "Hit it, Daddy" on oh, her lower so back. Oh, like, certain like that. Like that's freaky, my nigga. Like come on. that's what? No. <laughs> but I don't know what to say like that. Like if it's names, it's different. Certain like phrases like that. Oh yeah. Lord, this last one, 352, is three pages long. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Damn. That one is literally only the last one, and it's a full blown essay. <laughs> like, the other ones had paragraphs under each category. This one has a full essay. It's called Steph Mode Hit Hole With Him. And this one is about the sanctified slut. Next, please. I can't do that. No, this is the last one. Oh, That's the last one. It's three pages it's long. It's three pages long. And he's talking about the sanctified slut. And she, you know, I'm not I'm paraphrasing, but you know, you're talking yeah, about. You look like you need this more than I do right now. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here trying to, you know, break it down really fast for everybody. But it's so long. Like, you know, this man went through something. This safe, super sanctified, sex holding back, profit line heifer was part of some sick love triangle. Her and her fake friends calling themselves Christian, venting me. Like some politician on the campaign trail, all while this woman has some other man creeping out on his wife to take care of her and her and his extra mar- marital kids. He even moved her out from L.A. to Atlanta just to be closer to the child. This is now we know this one is definitely some from some from some true shit. Cause he added him. He said, "Venting me." So that means I think some yeah. people so, so, this happened. made some movies off of this. Cause I think I see this off of a couple movies. I can't remember which movie. Man, it shows about this shit now. Yeah, insecure, fucking. Um, she gotta have it, which is based off the movie. She gotta have it. You know, men are very insecure about women sleeping around. You know what I mean? Cause they're the same. They, um, you know, the man with the master key, the, the guy with the master key is is the master because he got the master key because he can unlock any door. But the the girl with the you know the lock where anybody could get in, it's a fucked up lock. You know what I mean? So you know, guys have that perception like, damn, you let that many un- so many keys unlock that door. You know, you give you a shitty lock. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put my things in that lock. You know what I mean? So I I can see why, but at the same time, in 2018, man. 
you think you're gonna find a virgin? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Unless you're 18, you know, you guys got a chance, you know. But if you're a grown man in your 20s, going into your 30s. It's rare you're going to find a virgin. It's going to be rare that you find a woman who hasn't had a sexual experience. You, I, I mean, do you want to teach something all over again? Because I think that's going to... Like, I Isn't like a girl that's season. Guys? Don't guys like... Like teaching? No, because... Yeah, they, basically. Yeah, 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 I like, you know... Just like but not every my, female my, wants to take that take that. Not key every female. No, no. Girl, some girls do like taking virginity. I had a girl who... who, who the girl I lost my virginity to had... A, already like seven niggas no i was number seven so she already had six niggas before me and she basically she taught me how to fuck let me tell well, you one technically she told me the basics and then i start pulling out sex books like all right well you know why are we doing this we might as well learn these other moves so we doing you know but i don't know yeah let me tell you one thing that i learned from one sorority sister when i was out of town this chick we sat down and talked for like 30 minutes <clears throat> One thing that I can say about her, she was a very intellectual woman. She was like, yo, I'm about You're to be... an intellectual hoe? Yeah, but at the end of the day, <laughs> this is what she was doing. Right. <laughs> this is what she was in college. Intelligent hoe. But she was in, she was in college. She's a hoe with a future. <laughs> she was, yo, she was in college and she was like, yo, I like taking guys virginities when I... And she was in the sophomore year. I don't know. She was in her third year, my semester, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or that la- uh, her third year in the college. And she was... um, What was it? She just said. She just said. Sometimes the sororities just, just go to frat parties to see which guy from high school is a virgin, and they'll be like, "All right, we're taking his virginity." That's a hoe. Yeah, that's whole shit. That's whole shit. That's a hoe. That's definitely whole shit. Yeah, but you know, we ain't not here to slut shame anybody, because uh-huh. who's not fucking these days? Exactly. You know, I tried to wait till marriage before I had sex. That didn't work out for me. Yeah, and I'm sure most people it doesn't work out for them that way either, unless you know you're very, 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 very religious and you hold it on to that shit until like until Jesus comes back. Like, nah, man, we're not doing this unless you put a ring on it. You know, so you know, kudos to those people. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some of those out there. Yeah, yeah. kudos to those people who were able to maintain that. You know, who didn't to uh, who didn't entertain the flesh, or whatever. But for everybody else, have, have fun. It's not about. I'm not gonna say have on fun. both terms. I'm gonna say be responsible. Yeah, be responsible. Be and responsible. Have, if you're going to have fun, be responsible on both parties. Be responsible. That's don't, all I'm going to say. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask questions. And if you are a hoe, like, if you feel like, you know, cause compared, you know, what we said, we said a lot of things today. So, you feel like you fit under those categories, ask yourself, why do I fit in this category? You know, ask yourself, what made you move that way? And ask yourself, if you want to continue moving that way? You know, because technically, this is, this, this is, we're telling you, this is why you're a hoe, you know? Hey, to say it like that, but like, hey, if Amber Rose is doing full blown slut walks here, then you know it's a new world. So either accept that you're a hoe and be proud of it, or change change your life. You hey. can, hey, just like, hey, just like I heard from a, uh, something when I was young. You can either run from it or learn from it. Right. Move on. Some guys don't mind wife and hoes. I'm not one of those guys. Some, but hey, you know, just because you're a hoe, don't mean you're never gonna find love. You know. If you're burning, it doesn't mean you're not gonna find love. You know, I know people. A lot of people who are married right now with STDs, mm-hmm. and their partner accept that, and they keep try to be safe as possible when they're dealing with their partner. You know, so you know, there's hope for everybody. There's somebody out there for everybody. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to find somebody, you just want to be a hoe. All right, just make sure everybody knows that. I mean, nah, don't make sure everybody knows. Your mama don't need to know you a hoe. Don't do that to your parents. <laughs> Hey mama, so let you know, you know, after Sunday dinner, I'm gonna suck some dick. (laughs) (laughs) Never gonna kiss her, saying like you, we slap. We don't even slap hands. We we do the kid and play now. You ever seen the movie movie Soul Food? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the, the whole cousin, everybody knew she was a hoe. Yeah. And like, you know, they didn't want to leave her with your, your husband. Like, don't, nah, bitch. Mm-hmm. She's like, I love, I love, I love fuck my husband. What was that? Like she would say, um, Vanessa Williams at the end of the movie. You know, when they, when they, not that, it was like the middle of the movie when they find out the husband fucked the, the cousin. You know that shit? She's like, oh, she's like, oh, she's like, come on, man. Let love in. Like, I let love in and love fuck my cousin. <laughs> I don't like my cousin, my husband. You know, but it's like, you know. Yeah. Hey, if you are, you don't. Yeah, uh, don't fuck your cousin. <laughs> don't ruin marriages. Yeah. Don't do that. You know, if you're going to be a hoe, just don't ruin lives. Don't do that. 
That's what I want to say. Just don't. <laughs> I was gonna say high moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a high moment. And guys, don't let that. What, I mean, when I say hoes, I mean this is it's a change. It's, it's just a uh, uh, it's a uh, what's the word? Um, unisex. Mm-hmm. Right. This is, we're talking men and women. Oh, we're not yeah. specifically talking about women here. True. This is men and women because men are hoes too. I don't give a fuck. Men are hoes too. <laughs> yes, yes, no. You know, like, if, if you're t- having sex with a whole bunch of people, make you a hoe. That's true, what you are. You're a hoe, man or a woman. You know. And if you find somebody who want to be a hoe with you, then you got somebody who want to be a hoe with you. So the question is, when do you ask a guy if, like, if he's a hoe? Jump Street. I personally think all that should need to be on the table ASAP. So we know who we're dealing with. And, yeah, that's true. You know, because you don't want to deal with somebody and find out later they're a hoe. Because it's going to fuck up the whole perception of who you are. You need to come as you are. If you don't come as you are, it's going to fuck up everything later on when they're like, hold the fuck up. So you've been lying to me. Mm-hmm. You're not who you say you've been. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? So you come in like, hey, I'll let you know now. I had a past, you know, but I've learned from my mistakes. I'm not about that life anymore, and I want to do something serious with you. That's and then you gotta go. You can't go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now, if you want to keep hoeing, then you gotta say that too. Like, hey, <laughs> I like you. I want to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna let you know, I'm a hoe. I fuck people. I lie. <laughs> <laughs> Prime example. So we're going to wrap this podcast up. Prime example. There's a movie that I love called Clerks. Done by Kevin Smith. Same guy who did Tusk. Uh-huh. You know? And there's a scene where the guy's chilling with his girlfriend. And they're talking about, like, yo, how many people have you been with? And, you know, he gives her her number and shit. And she's like, yo, how many dudes have you been with? She's like, oh, only like three. And he's like, oh, all right, cool. That, that number is cool. Yeah. And then another dude coming into the store. And you know, you know, the guy was mad weird. He's like, "Yo, how you how you know that dude?" He's like, "Oh, you know, I, um, you, you ever heard of a? I, f- I forgot what the shit is called. It was a specific sexual thing. I, I don't remember the name. I think it was like snowball or some shit like that. Where basically a girl suck a guy's dick, and then he comes in her mouth, and then she spits it back in his mouth or whatever. And he was like, "Ew, your your homegirl's a hoe. She did that with that nigga." She's like, "No, she didn't do that. I did." He's like, "What? You told me you only fucked." So three, one, two, and three. Who when did that? He's like, no, I didn't fuck him. I just sucked his dick. He's like, whoa, fuck you mean. Said, wait, hold on. So you telling me you wait, how many other niggas dick did you suck? And she goes, I don't I don't want to get into it. Like, come on, how many other niggas dick dicks did you? She's like, 36. 36 dicks, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you were so fucking tight. She's like, I'm leaving. I can't talk to you right now. He's like, try not to suck any dick on the way out to the parking lot. Niggas start walking out behind her. Like, hey, nigga, where you going? <laughs> like, yeah. <yo. laughs> so you got to come as you are early on. So you don't have that 36 dicks moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got you to know these stuff from Jump Street. <laughs> got to know these things from Jump Street. Because you will find somebody who's okay with you. You will. You know, all it takes is that one person who accepts you for everything you are. You know, and people will if you come as you are. If you pretend that's to be true, someone though. else, who's gonna accept you? Because you haven't been who you are. Yep, you gotta ex- you be yourself, and people will accept you. That's mm-hmm. true. You know, and you'll find that one because you are exactly who you are, and you you're exactly what someone likes. Somebody's looking for a seasoned pro. Somebody's like, yo, man, I need somebody who knows how to rock the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Somebody's looking for that. You know, so just be upfront. You know, about everything. If you a hoe? If you got something? If you're not a hoe? If you had a past of you with a hoe, you was sucking dick for crack, you know, all that stuff laid out on the table. But this was this episode of The Cypher. I hope we gave you guys something to think about while smoking these L's, you know. I'm sure this was a very interesting episode, <laughs> you know. Like, I, I wasn't planning to have this conversation, but I found the book. I was like, you know what, let's just talk about how to tell people some hoes. So, um, I hope we help somebody else out there. And, um... A bunch of people's real uh, recalibrating. Yeah, yeah, people are rethinking their whole life right now. Like, damn, I might be a hoe. I fit yeah. like six, seven, eight of those categories. Yeah, God, I can I see did. a bunch of marriages I know that bitch was a hoe. Right <laughs> Shit, man and woman right now. Niggas saying they're like, damn, I'm a hoe too. Shit. Yo, oh, they have that. The parts I know is the male female that's having that awkward turn right now. That's right, like yeah. To, to, to the couples that's smoking and listening to this podcast. <laughs> You know, we, I'm sure you guys are going to have a serious conversation about this. But um, remember... But remember, she said it's like this. Swallow. <laughs> yeah, she said swallow. <laughs> she said swallow. I'm clean. Love conquers all, people. <laughs> you know, be kind. Love is patient. Love is kind. So be kind to your partners and uh, be responsible. Until next time, y'all. Much love. God bless. Two pieces of chicken grease. Good night. Enjoy your day. Be safe. Later, y'all.